So here I am back in the um, area that I saw last night. There seems to be much more art than I first saw. Well, mainly because it was dark, so obviously I didn't see everything. But uh, you can see there's artwork and graffiti all the way around here. I can't see how to get across the street, but uh, if I zoom in, you can see there are some houses there that have also been decorated and covered with street art. But when I turn left here, this is the um, rundown area I was in last night. I guess all the people in the um, community committee will be sleeping now. So it seems to be a lot safer during the daytime than it was seemed last night. Although I never felt threatened, I felt quite safe, but I was just very, very careful. So this is what it looks like in the daytime. If I were staying longer in the area, I would try to find out who were the authors of these paintings and who managed this community project. The sound that you can hear in the background is in fact not my microphone that's oversensitive, but as you can see, these buildings have many multiple air conditioning units and that is the sound that the microphone was picking up. I do have to set the microphone so that it does some noise cancellation so I get rid of that noise. What seems to be clear to me is that there is some coherence. The patterns are matching, the colors are uniform. As you can see, there seems to be a lot of thought that has gone into this. The apartment blocks together seem to make up one unified canvas. This is something we don't have in our project in Uganda. Um, each piece that we have now is an independent piece. And one piece has no relationship to the other. So this might be an idea for us to think about where we get all our artists to work together and do something more uniform. Or maybe not, maybe our approach is just different. If you have any thoughts, let me know.
I'm glad I came back because this is much, much more impressive than I realized last night. Good morning. Yeah, morning. How are you? Fine. Good. Here you can see again the uniformity. The whole street is in the same color and the same motif and the same theme all the way through. Yeah, I think we've got something to learn from these lads here. I see there's a lot more art down this way. I didn't see this last night because this was in pitch black darkness. Yeah, I've enjoyed coming back here. So thank you, Kathy, for making me come back here. Oh wow, there's some more down the street here too. All right, I see there's a Instagram. I'll look these guys up and perhaps I can talk to them. I think this work is very, very impressive. I like it. It does change the community. <laughs> but it doesn't intimidate me. I don't see anything here that we can't do in Uganda. I think there's a lot we can learn from what they're doing here. But I believe we can do something just as impressive with the resources that we have, with the talent and the people we have. I believe in Uganda we can do something equally impressive and because we are able to do it I think we should. I think we should aim at having a grandiose project like this in Katwe. No reason why we can't. So Kathy you wanted this video for motivational reasons. I hope this motivates you. I hope this shows you what we can do in Uganda. And I hope that those of you who support us will get a better idea now of the direction we want to take. 
and how we can turn Katwe into a beautiful place as well. Good morning. How are you? All right. So, I'm going back up to Alo Street. Thank you again, Kathy, for making me do this. I hope this will be inspirational and an education for us all so we have a bigger goal of what we can achieve together with those kids in Katwe. I'm rushing back to the station to get to the airport now. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.